This coral reef is like a city for sea creatures. The Atlantic spadefish, the angelfish, and the blue chromus fish are a few of the thousands of species that live here. During the day, the reef is bustling with color, but as night approaches, the patterns of life in this ecosystem begin to change, and nocturnal predators come out to feed. To avoid becoming a meal, the daytime fish need to find good hiding places. This parrotfish has returned to the safety of the crevice where it usually sleeps. For the plant-eating, or herbivorous fish, night is a time to hide and sleep. The reef becomes deserted. As the waters darken, the coral's outline softens. The circles on the coral are coral polyps coming out to feed. Each polyp extends its tentacles to catch drifting plankton. Schools of grunts and squirrelfish move down to the nearby grass beds to feed on small fish, shrimp, and other small creatures. Squirrelfish use their large eyes to spot prey in the dark. Sea urchins also move to the grass beds to feed on algae. Despite hundreds of tiny tube feet all around their bodies, their progress is slow. In time lapse, passing fish are flickers of light. The migration continues through the night. It helps to have special protection to cruise around the grass beds at night. The porcupine fish has a thorny body that can inflate and would make a difficult mouthful. At night, this fish becomes one of the most common sights. Now deserted, the reef becomes a hunting ground for flesh-eating or carnivorous predators. Solitary, the octopus trolls along the reef, using its tentacles to feel for hiding creatures. The suckers on its tentacles can taste what it's touching. The octopus retreats to its cave at first light. The tinafore is easy to spot at night. It is bioluminescent, creating its own light. It comes out to prey on plankton and small creatures. When the sun comes up again, the tinafore will be gone. Nighttime predators will retreat to their daytime resting places. The reef dwellers will awaken. <laughs>